Good morning. Well, once again, I'm at Padley Gorge, and you may be thinking, why wow, he spends a lot of time at Padley Gorge, and I do. It's true. I absolutely adore it here. But this is probably my last uh, last day for a while, with the caveat of exceptional weather. So if I know it's going to be like super foggy, misty, whatever, then I will definitely come back here. But as sort of general photography goes, uh, I've pretty much done my spring photography here after today and then uh, I'll maybe come back at the height of summer and then of course it's going to be autumn which is the big one for this place uh, but for today I'm just going to wander into the gorge I've got no real uh, agenda last video I did here of course was the return to Bowl Hill quarry which I didn't feel was super duper for me I've got a couple of nice little snaps but nothing wonderful uh, but yeah, this morning it's it's cool. Uh, it's clearly going to be uh, a little bit mixed today, but there's some beautiful uh, cloud, wispy cloud formations. Uh, there's uh, low cloud drifting over the hills. The bird song is, is quite, you probably can't hear it on this because uh, I've got it all blocked out, but there's some beautiful bird song going on. <sighs> you know, and even if I get no photographs, it's going to be a beautiful morning. So uh, come on, let's go see what we can get. This looks, uh, this is nice. I'm not sure, I'm not sure I've got an image here though. What is that? Is that a fence? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Let's give it a go. What I'm going to do today, uh, to cut the waffle a little bit, because I do tend to waffle, is if I take a shot that I think is just too simple to explain, or if it, perhaps it's just something I'm having a go of, you know, I'm not 100% sure whether it's going to work, then I'll, I'll just I'll just pop it up on the screen, and you know you can comment, let me know what you think of it by all means. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to be a good way to go. I'm going to go a different way through Padley today. I normally cross the bridge, and. What's the old phrase? Familiarity breeds contempt. I don't want to get so used to uh, this place that I just breeze past compositions because I'm not really looking because I think I know where I am. Uh, instead, uh, I'm going to mix it up a little bit and try a different way. Uh, so, yeah, I I've been through this way before for a while and uh, let's see what goodies it's going to produce. I've walked in the gate I'm presented with this uh, quite nice scene as the, the, the tangle of trees some branches some lovely green boughs hanging down and then there's the, the floor with all the roots and rocks and on top of it is uh, some brown uh, detritus the I don't know what it is uh, buds probably that have fallen from spring have now turned brown I think if these were from you know last autumn they'd have been gone by now because there's, there's still a little bit of radiance to them. Uh, I'm, I don't know if there's a shot here. I'm going to give it a go, but it's another one. I'll just throw it up because it's a, it's a I'm not sure shot. I did say in my, my last vlog when I was going to Bowl Hill that I wanted to do a video about um, sort of capturing within the chaos of the spring and summer, all the green, especially how you, you can still get a great image even though everything appears to be all mushed up or blended in and uh, there's just tonal shifts, let's say. So th the obvious thing is to make the green either a frame or a background and then have something striking uh, say smack in the middle doesn't have to be but could be so that's where I'm going with this because this is a beautifully shaped tree uh, it's got writhing boughs uh, that are just wonderful and because of the light as it is at the moment they're still quite dark and I think that the contrast that they offer 
against the green, which does shift in tone. It goes sort of lighter green down to a darker green uh, because of the way the, the light is coming up behind me. Uh, I think this could offer a good shot. I do have an issue. I do have a problem in that there is a, what would you call it? A sort of secondary bow coming out from the bottom and it, it does get in the way of the image. And that would be a lot of Photoshop work to get rid of that, I think, even with AI. I didn't really want that. So I may have to do some maneuvering. Let's take a look. Now it's absolutely vital to me that I get the, the twisting branches, that I get them all in, uh, because that's what sold it to me when I first saw it. So that's the important thing. You've got the thick bow and then all the, you know, wonderful writhing branches so so it's absolutely vital the the light is quite strong at the top but we can work with that and that's going to be okay i'm just going to do a quick quick snap to see how it looks fantastic here in the UK this week really warm but clear skies um, I guess there might have been some misty mornings where I've been working so I've not been able to check it out uh, what that does mean is that the brook here is a lot more sedate than it has been in the last few visits um, so you know that can be good and bad uh, if the water flow is reduced, it might not be as spectacular, but then these lower energy flows can produce some beautiful images. So I'll probably pop down, try and get a couple of shots. Uh, we'll see what this way, this path gives me. If I get easy access to it, then I'll go down, but I'm not doing anything too bold today. My, my knees aren't feeling it. <laughs> so, uh, Oh, it's just beautiful here, just to just take a moment. I, again, I don't think the video is doing it justice from what I can see from the light, but the light dropped just as I walked into this little area here. And it's a lot darker than it looks on this video. And it's quite enchanting. You know, the, the glow that the light is producing from the trees is really nice as it uh, pushes through the leaves. shot because those rocks are normally just big boulders and they offer no framing whatsoever and whilst that and that water is normally actually coming a lot faster so we just said that the lack of rain had made the brook more sedate so this isn't as fast as it normally is and I think because if it's super fast okay here's the thing it comes out like ice cream okay it's just a soft scoop ice cream and I don't think it looks good and I can't be convinced otherwise uh, and the grey rocks, well, they're just rocks. And you can say, well, the rocks frame it, but they don't really, do they? They're just, just big, what, greyish rocks. But you'll see all this brown stuff that's on them, I think offers just a, a, enough of a contrast to make it interesting. I could be wrong, but I'm going to have a look. Um, probably going to have to go down a little bit because I've seen that big rock at the front, which could offer a bit of foreground as well. So I'm going to have a walk down, see what I can get. I think it's worth talking about this one because um, this is uh, this is one where you, where you're drawn in 
initially. See, it doesn't work. That's what I found. Uh, but then I've, I've repositioned, tried a couple of focal lengths, and I think I've got something. So let's see if you agree. Right, okay. So the initial composition for me didn't work. The, the idea I had didn't work. But I was convinced there was something to be got. So I came down, got a bit closer, uh, and then I thought, well, okay, so as I've always suspected, this particular scene doesn't work because it's too bland. But looking to the side here, I saw that these lovely green trees offered some colour. So I thought, well, okay, let's, let's try and rebalance the composition. Um, we've got a lovely body of water there. I don't know if that's going to work or not. It's going to be a long exposure, so that will flatten out a little bit. I don't have a circular polarizer on. I could put one on, but it doesn't feel like it needs it right now. Um, so I switched from the 50 mil back to uh, 24105 or whatever it is that's on there because I wanted a wider angle. I needed to get more into the composition. Of course, I'm quite close, so we need that breadth. Um, and we're going to show you what this looks like wider okay so the initial composition would have been this uh, and there was a bit of a tree sort of here and meh it didn't really work and then i thought okay let's just bring this in now moved across and i saw that and i thought if i can get the angle just right on that there's a bit of a scene uh the middle is quite empty i guess that's my biggest worry so i'm hoping that the way the water looks is just going to balance it out the green rocks and trees here I'm not going not I'm probably going to be about there and there and then this has got to do all the work and my biggest concern is that if I shoot too low this is going to be empty these branches by the way were in the way I help nature with them um, but I think if I bring it up a little bit then the, these rocks here will help to draw it in a little bit okay so this could be two minutes of your time wasted or it could be quite nice on the corner of the pathway here there's a little gathering of rocks there and then it doesn't it doesn't really show it here but trust me that tree there yeah there is is sort of between the two rocks there and there's some bluebells just at the base and you can barely see them but it was the bluebells that caught my eye. I've not, I've not had great bluebell shots this year and it's in my little notebook. I keep a notebook of things to do better next year when the season's right, so bluebells is one of them. But uh, So I thought, okay, well, the trunk is nice and dark. Um, it's backlit, so there's, you know, there's a little bit of light at the top, which is nice. Portrait mode for this, of course, because going wide angle here would make no sense whatsoever. So I'm gonna try and just capture the rocks that tree and hope that the light is doing its job at the back. I'm not going to set it all up. Uh, today is going to be a bit of a drive-by I think. We'll put the odd one up but yeah. Let's see how that looks now. That's a 
break early, unfortunately. Had a bit of a twinge in my knee, going up one of the rocks. Uh, well, over one of the rocks. I can't really risk it. Not with all this gear on me. So it's pretty, it feels pretty weak at the moment, which is a shame because there's still plenty of morning left. Oh well. Uh, big thanks to everyone who's uh, come along to watch. Uh, I don't know if there'll be a few more images posted after this. If I can sort of on my way back, drive to somewhere that's a little less rocky, maybe I'll take some shots. But I still think there's about an hour of reasonable light left tops though there's, there's not much cloud now so i think there is going to be later but i think uh, unfortunately my morning is done what a shame oh, bloody old age eh? <laughs> right so uh, again thanks everyone hope you have a fantastic week and uh, we'll see you for the next one so last time at paddley gorge for a bit i think and uh, gonna be going somewhere different next time for sure check it out